What is going on everybody? I am back with a brand new video and today I am out at Stubbs Park. I have with me the battle of the one speed. So I have with me the Sonic, the Glitch, and of course the almighty Polecat. And I'm going to be making up six random holes and just have a little fun little battle with these three discs. See what I like best. I was bagging the Sonic, but I just got the Glitch. So I'm kind of excited to try it. All these holes will probably be roughly around 150 to 200 feet because I feel like that's probably when you'll be throwing the one speeds. Hole one is going to be mandatory of this skinny tree to the left, and it's gonna be an Annie shot. And let's get it started. Got the glitch in hand first. The amount of Annie you have to put on these is so slight to actually get them over there. So it's gonna be interesting. Is that too much? Oh my God, so glidey. That should be good. That should be a putt at least. Here's the pole cat which in my experience has just died out of the air when it gets close to the basket. Very interesting. So I think I gotta put a little bit more power on it. Get over there, dude. Yeah, and just drops right out of the air. Definitely one of my favorites, Sonic. Just a great disc that feels like a Frisbee. Probably throw it worse out of the group because I said that. Oh no, see? Yeah, a little bit, maybe a little bit more touchy than the other two. A little bit too much Annie, but we'll see how they putt. Appears the Sonic is out first. This battle is definitely gonna be all about how I putt these things. A little bit on the throws, but if I am landing at this distance, my putter needs to be on for both. Just a little low. Here's the glitch. Looks like a little bit better positioning. The reason I like the glitch um, style is because it feels most like a disc golf disc. So you don't really have to switch up your grip or anything. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, that was a little bit better putt than the Sonic. Just a little bit low. Uh, putting wells very early on. Wow, the pole cat takes an early lead. There's the glitch. Here's the Sonic here. Have you guys personally tried any of these one speed discs? And if so, what is your favorite? Do you actually bag one? Like, do you actually find a use for it on the course? Cause that's been my issue recently. As fun as it is in the bag, I just don't ever see myself pulling them out. All right, hole two is probably around 125 feet or so, but it's through this really tight alley and there's a ton of ghost branches that uh, you might not be able to see on camera. So. This is a tight line. It's gonna be interesting how these discs play out and if I'm able to get them all the way to the basket. I have the glitch in hand, just right down this little alley. Man, I'm terrified. I'm gonna just clank this main tree here. Oh my God, that's perfect. That is awesome. The glitch is so easy to throw. Unlike the polecat, I feel like I have to throw the pole cat a little bit harder. The glitch just goes. The reason to that is probably because it is so light compared to the pole cat. Oh my God, that has a chance to go in. Oh, okay, pole cat just dead straight. That was sick. In the Sonic, maybe I'll change my mind about the pole cat. It's only hole two, but what the heck? Why did I throw it so well? Oh my gosh. This is, this is a disgrace. The disc that I've like bagged the longest, I'm throwing horrible. Once again, up first, the Sonic, which I'll be completely honest, I don't think it can get in the basket from here. Yeah, Sonic's out again, not really worried about it this time though. But for this challenge, we are going to need birdies in order to win. Of course, the pole cat. It's two for two. All right, this is an actual hole on the course at 174 feet. I'm gonna start with the Sonic this time. And honestly, I'm just looking for one decent throw with this, just so that I can say that it wasn't a total waste in my bag. But so far, I'm glad that I, I took it out of my bag because it hasn't been going well. Get out of it, get out of it, get out of it. Oh my gosh, Max. Three for three, terrible shots with the Sonic. It's all right though. We have the glitch, and just so you know, mine is 151 grams, so I think they go up to 154. I could be wrong about that, but I think so. 
turn now. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, that's a putt. If it gets off that tree, yeah, that's probably another birdie with the bull cat going three for three. I can't make this up. Don't mind me, guys. Not like I'm going to the Sonic first again. Although I haven't found the bull cat. I have no idea where it went. But the Sonic didn't end up that bad. Like, this is makeable for its first birdie. Man, I do not want to go to a knee. Should I go to a knee? No, I'm not going. <laughs> go! Yes! Let's go. Come on, Sonic. Now we gotta find that pole cat. All right, so legitimately, I have not found the pole cat yet. It's somewhere over there, but I think it's under snow. I can't find it. So I'm gonna go ahead, put the glitch, and just look forever for that pole cat, apparently, because I don't want it to lose because I lost it. <laughs> There we go. All right, two for two. We just have to find the pole cat so we can make this three for three. I found the pole cat. We did not want to lose that. It is on an absolute tear right now. As long as I can make that. All right, three for three. Got ourselves a little battle here. Three more holes to play to see who takes the victory. All right, we have hole four here. This is going to be hyzer, so Manda left of this little V tree, which shouldn't be an issue. If it is, I should probably retire. Gonna start off with the pole cat. Oh wow, I hit that too. Drop in. <laughs> I know these aren't difficult shots. I understand these aren't difficult shots, but I don't throw the pole cat this well. Going with the glitch, I guess I'm happy to for the video. At least I look somewhat decent today. Going with the glitch though, on a little bit of a hyzer, cause it likes to flip up more than both of those Halo discs, the Sonic and the Polecat. <clears throat> Drop in, go in. Oh, just too far. Oh my gosh, I'm hunting. Sonic, come on Sonic, you can do it. <laughs> I have no trust in the Sonic anymore. I'm in my head now. I am in my head with the Sonic. Get left. If it was left, they actually hyzered. These just don't hyzer though. They don't know how to. It's not in their DNA. Glitch just went a little bit too far. I think I've called one of these discs to go in each time and it has yet to happen, but. Oh my gosh, that almost popped out. And I don't know if you could see me, but this is a Sonic. It's pretty much out of the picture right now anyway. And of course, the pole cat. This is really just a battle between the glitch and the pole cat at this point is just too far behind. I'm sorry, Sonic. Pole five is gonna be a little bit further, I feel like, than what we have been at. This has to be at least 200 feet. Mando, through these two trees, once again, shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm gonna start with the Sonic this time since it's pretty much out of the picture. And I'm trying to cycle through all the discs that I throw first. Come on, Sonic. Maybe go in, go in one time. No, but beautiful shot. Nice, finally parked with the Sonic. I think I've already said this, but I do like how this feels more like a disc golf disc. I used to say that I love how the Sonic feels like a Frisbee because it just gives you that comfort um, in the hand, like just throwing catch with your friend. But apparently that is untrue today. Like that is just not true. That's the most false statement I've ever said. See how much that turns though. It's got a lot of glide, but you can't throw it hard. That's what I don't really like about the glitch, because this isn't very far. You would hope that it would be able to do that. But besides that, it just has an extraordinary amount of glide if you're just kind of chucking it at close range. But we have the Halo Polecat this time. <clears throat> oh, a little high that time. Get out of it, get out of it. Drop, 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 drop. Okay, that's definitely makeable. All right, I think we're gonna still go perfect if we can make that putt. Need the glitch to go in here in order to keep it to have a chance because it is down one right now. And that time left side, that hurts. I wanted the glitch to have a chance. It is a Christmas miracle that the Sonic is the closest. I haven't putted the pole cat yet. <laughs> I still almost missed high. Parked. Last but not least, is going to be just a simple hyzer. There's the basket there. 
nothing too insane, but it is going to the practice basket, which is close to the parking lot, which is very close to my car. So there is a ghost branch directly in front of me, which I could have moved to the left or right to avoid, but oh well, just another uh, obstacle. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to hit these on some hyzer, I think, because there is a hard headwind. <clears throat> Get over that. Yes, that is really short though. I might have just ruined my perfectness with the polecat. All right, here's the Sonic though. Oh, look at that drift. Parked again. Okay, it just took me a little bit of time to warm up with the Sonic apparently. And here is the glitch, which is what I'm most worried about because of this headwind. It's clear that this thing is the most understable out of the group. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm grunting like that. Oh, yes. This has been my favorite challenge yet. I can just make up the holes as I go, throw short holes, which means uh, I throw decent shots or pretty good shots. But this is pretty fun. I have yet to make a good putt at this distance. Not even that is far, but I just am not putting well. Here we go for the perfect six under. That's too much pressure. Why did I say that out loud? Yes, let's go. Six under with the pole cat. Maybe, maybe it isn't so bad. I don't know. Sonic and the glitch, which was only two behind. All right, guys, that is going to do it for my one speed challenge. This was a blast to film and make. Honestly, this was awesome. The pole cat is the clear cut winner today. I threw this lid pretty well today. If you guys like the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go follow me on Instagram at chasingchains underscore, and we will see you in the next one.